Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Ted again back here with uh, Tech Vitamins and today we're going to be showing you how to uh, configure the router uh, and you know just uh, just a few simple things here uh, not not any uh, you know uh, routers that would be used in uh, in the business side just uh, you know your 50 to 100 dollar router that you could pick up at uh, Best Buy or HH Gregg or you know a uh, big box electronics store somewhere all right, so first things first, what you want to do is, of course, uh, unbox the router if you haven't already done that. Plug it in, uh, give it a little bit of time to come up, and then you're going to want to cable, uh, and you want to want to really be sure that you do cable uh, directly from the router to your computer uh, using, of course, an Ethernet cable. And uh, pulled up pulled up a picture here of what uh, a typical uh, back panel of a router will look like. Uh, you've got your numbered ports and uh, of course you've got the port right here where you would plug in the uh, modem connection. But uh, these are the uh, ones that we're going to be concerned with right now. Uh, the numbered ports 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are your LAN ports. Uh, so we're gonna you can plug into one two three or four and then of course the other end is going to go into the uh, uh, Port on your uh, actual PC uh, Here is just uh, just another picture of a back panel of a router Excuse me. Um, you can see that it does have the uh, port here for the modem again and then the uh, numbered ports one two three and four here for the LAN uh, so just uh, just a couple pictures of what uh, what that may look like when you flip it around and take a look at the back. Remember that you do want to plug into one, two, three, or four. And once you do make that connection, you're gonna give the give the computer about uh, another 20 seconds or so to uh, talk to the router, if you will. And uh, if we're on a we're on a window uh, we're on a Windows PC here. Uh, so we're gonna pull up the command prompt, and the reason we're gonna do that is uh, we're going to identify the uh, computer's uh, address for the uh, gateway. Uh, that's, uh, that's what we're going to use to pull up the actual router configuration page and set up our, uh, set up our router for uh, internet access and wireless access. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the command prompt. If you're on Windows 7, you can just pull up the start menu type in CMD and you can click down here to pull this up and the command in Windows is IP config and my computer has quite a quite a bit of uh, network connections here so we're gonna scroll up we're gonna look for the local area connection and what we're going to look for specifically inside there is the default gateway IP address. Now what we're looking for this for is because that is the IP address of your actual router. And what we're going to use that for is like I said to uh, like I said earlier to pull up the actual router configuration page. So once you once you've got the gateway uh, IP address, make a note of that. We can close this and we're going to pull up a browser okay so now that you've pulled up a web browser of course you're not going to be able to get out to the internet because the modem's not connected to the router just yet uh, you're going to get a little page load error and we're going to type in that IP address of that uh, excuse me of that gateway that you found earlier and we'll hit enter <clears throat> and it's going to pull you pull you into a page here now yours is probably going to look a little bit different here because I've uh, installed uh, some custom firmware uh, to give my router just a, a, a few more options but uh, usually when you when you do log in it's going to ask you to change the uh, username and the password of the router to secure the router after the first login so I'm going to go ahead and type some junk in here and just to get through this here. So you'll go ahead and change the password. <clears throat> 
and then it gets you gets you to your landing page. If you click set up again, um, or if you actually click any of the options, it's going to actually ask you to log in with the new credentials that you just created. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and that brings me into the setup here. Now the the three basic things that you that you have to set up. Uh, first is going to be the uh, network name. Uh, also, you may see it categorized as an SSID. So that's just the name of the network. Uh, then you're going to also have to configure security, and then of course the speed of what you want. Then there's a few. Of, there's two other things that you need to make sure that are enabled, but they usually are from the uh, factory. That's going to be DHCP and then the SSID broadcast. Now, again, that SSID is just a name, and then broadcasting, it means that your computer is going to be able to you know, go out and look for the wireless network and find it. So you wanna make sure that SSID broadcast and DHCP are enabled. Uh, but uh, first things first here, let's go ahead and uh, start, some, start some configurations here. Now, what... Um, You'll want to. Uh, you you might have some uh, some options here along the uh, top or you know along the left hand side here. But uh, if you do do a little bit of clicking around, you'll be able to find these these options. They may be laid out a little bit different, but uh, don't don't be afraid to explore. Uh, so you want to you want to make sure that the wireless mode is uh, also an, an access point, or it could be. Uh, categorized as router on uh, on some other configuration pages. Um, right here, you'll have the wireless network mode, and that is the speed that you want to operate at. Uh, as you can see, this is an older router that I'm using. It doesn't have N speed, just B and G. So we'll go ahead and set that on G. And then here, you see wireless network name and SSID. That's what we'll. This is this is what the network name is going to be. We'll uh, make this test video just for uh, just for these purposes here. Uh, wireless channel. Uh, you're most of the time going to want to leave this here on auto. Uh, just you know just so that uh, you can leave that up to the router uh, to, to choose. It'll choose the best, uh, less or most least congested uh, channel automatically if you set it to auto. So it'll take care of that for you on its own. And once you, once you configure that, you're gonna want to apply those settings. So those settings have been applied so what we've configured is we've configured the speed and then the name. So that is going to leave us with security. Um, so here, most of the times out of the box, the security is disabled. Uh, when you click it, you're going to get some uh, some options here. Uh, WEP, which is an, an, an older uh, style of uh, security. Uh, radius, you're probably not going to see on, on yours because like I said earlier, I have gone ahead and installed custom firmware that opens up a, a few more few more options that uh, the router is capable of. Uh, but what you're going to want to choose is WPA2 Personal. And this allows you to then uh, set up the encryption algorithm that you want to use. And I'm going to say you're going to want to use AES because that is uh, the, the more compatible uh, of the two with, uh, with more devices. Uh, now, if you want to figure out what the difference is between AES and, what was it, TKIP, uh, you, can, you can go ahead and pause this, uh, open up another tab, and Google search on it because it is a, a pretty interesting read. Uh, but for for argument's sake, we're going to use AES because it is compatible with uh, with more devices, uh, older devices, I should say. And uh, here you can go ahead and type in the actual passphrase uh, for the key. Uh, so we can make this. Uh, what are we gonna make? We'll just make it Tech Vitamins. Make sure I spelled that right. So yeah, there we go, Tech Vitamins. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and apply these settings. Now the, the, the reason why I am applying as opposed to saving, um, because on, on, uh, on my router's firmware, uh, save will just 
save will just take it and it won't actually commit it to the router's memory. Uh, so which is, this is why I'm applying because that will actually commit it to the router's memory. Um, now that may be, may be a little bit different on yours, but uh, that's, how, that's how it's working here on mine. But most of the times you'll have a, uh, a save button at the bottom or, or an apply settings. If you have two, you're going to want to make sure that you do apply settings, of course, unless you want to just save it first to, for, for testing purposes. Uh, but um, we've gone ahead, we've configured our, our security here. Uh, and then those, uh, those two other things that I did want to make sure that, uh, that you do enable, uh, of course, um, is going to be your uh, DHCP. This, uh, this will allow the router to hand out IP addresses automatically for, uh, for new computers connecting to the wireless network. And then we're also going to want to enable the uh, SSID broadcast. As I find that bad boy in here, right here, here we are. Uh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. Uh, so uh, you do want to make sure that you have the uh, wireless SSID uh, broadcasting, so uh, the router can pick up the uh, wireless network when you do go to look for it. Uh, so if you if you do have all those set, we're uh, we're we're pretty much done configuring the router. Well, actually, we are done configuring the router. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just uh, apply those changes just to be sure that everything is committed to memory and we can close out this uh, page because we no longer need to excuse me we no longer need to uh, have that open and what we're going to do next is we're going to uncable the router from your PC and then what I going to do um, since I have turned off my wireless uh, network card in the computer so I didn't get any any errors while configuring the router I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wireless card back on and then what we're going to do next here is we're going to look for the wireless network that we have just created and as, as you can see test video is the name of uh, the wireless network and we're going to go ahead and connect to that I want to set that to automatically connect but when we do click connect it is going to ask for that security key again which was tech vitamins and we'll go ahead click OK and then we're going to be connected to our router our, well wireless network uh, so, so we are connected to the wireless network, but of course we're not going to pick up any, uh, you know, any internet connection just yet. Uh, and in order to do that, what you're going to need to do is uh, unplug, unplug the wireless router from uh, from power. And I'm gonna gonna pull up my uh, my pictures here again just to just to show you what uh, where to plug in. Um, now we uh, we can go ahead and unplug that cable uh, from one, two, three, or four, and we're going to. Uh, plug the cable from the modem directly into this uh, WAN port right here. Uh, again, I do have another picture here. Sometimes where it's labeled uh, internet, but the the cable from the modem is going to to plug into here uh, or here, as you see on this other diagram, and that's what's going to uh, give you the internet connection to the modem. Uh, so uh, once you once you've made that connection, go ahead and plug the router back into power. Give that a few moments to come back up, and then you'll be able to get out to the internet. Uh, so so yeah, guys, that's a, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this can also come in handy if you uh, have uh, have a buddy come over and you've uh, forgotten the password. Uh, you can also uh, go ahead and retrieve it this way as well. Instead of making changes, of course, you would just uh, just write down that password once you pull up the page. Uh, so, uh, yeah, hope you guys learned something here. Uh, and uh, comment. Uh, let us know if you want any any more how-to videos like this in the in the future. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.